to the Orange Kettlebell Club video blog, your spot for weekly wellness and kettlebell sport performance tips and reviews. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about proper hand insertion inside the window of the kettlebell, how to avoid pain on the back of the forearm, and how to conserve energy in the flexors here on the inside of the forearm. Okay, but first, shirt shout out of the week goes to Tim Bell out in Halifax, Nova Scotia, in Canada. All right, this guy, Tim Bell, he runs such a cool business, right? One half karate, one half kettlebell, so it's Bell's Kettlebell Concepts and Bell's Taekwondo. Phenomenal place, we were out there teaching a certification. The energy in that place is incredible. You can imagine what it looks like. And if you're out there, Tim will take you to go get a donair and the donair is basically probably the greatest sandwich slash burrito gyro thing you could ever eat. So I recommend it. Donair, Tim Bell, check them out. All right. A lot of t a lot of times <clears throat> we will get emails coming into us asking about pain on the back of the forearm during kettlebell lifting. So when people are beginning, sometimes they have a tendency to just grab grab the handle and hold it. And they want to keep everything real tight and real still. But remember, it's not a dumbbell, so we don't hold it in the same fashion. Where a dumbbell, you grab it, you grip it, and that's it, right? There's no other movement. But with a kettlebell, not so much. We want to be able to insert and have this handle at a nice 45 degree angle, right over the hip of the palm. This is going to be a lot more stable, and it's also going to conserve energy in my forearm. Now, the mistake a lot of beginners make is that they have it across the meat of the palm, just straight across, right? And so what happens is they want to grip it this way. They want to grip it this way and hold it tight. And the forearm starts to really gas out. So, all right, motorcycle. So the forearm starts to gas out and then you're gonna lose reps. You may drop the bell, so on and so forth, right? In this position here, as they get tired, they start to actually extend the wrist, not because they want to, but the forearm's starting to get tired. So as the wrist extends, that kettlebell is going to come down and sit lower. It's going to sit lower on the back of the forearm. And that can be really uncomfortable and cause a lot of pain. So look at the difference here. If I'm here across, across the meat of the palm, and I'm extended back, that bell is way down there. The ball portion of the bell is way down there. But if I insert here, right, let it come across the base of the palm, it's much higher up, and it doesn't sit in a really awkward space over the radius there, right, the bone in the forearm, on the thumb side. So, I want to keep that angle and make sure you have that nice insertion. It's really, really important. So, by doing that, you have two things that are great taking place. One, you conserve the energy in the forearm because you're not, you're not having to extend, um, flex rather, you're not having to work those muscles in the flexors of the forearm. And then also to the bell is higher up. So, boom, there you go. It's not sitting way down awkward. It's up higher and you have a less chance of injuring yourself or feeling that discomfort. Okay, so if you're beginning with kettlebells, remember this insertion is really, really important. It's not a dumbbell, guys, so don't grip it like that, okay? Try it out. Thank you very much. This has been the Orange Kettlebell Club video blog, and I'm Jason Dolby. We'll see you next time.